have a look at pairing the wireless remote kit uh, which comes in two parts the WRR10 and the WRT10 with our Nikon Z. Now you can also use these parts combined with a WRA10 and that will allow you to use it with a DSLR. We're also going to pair it to an SB5000 flash which means you can trigger the flash remotely. So first thing we're going to do is plug in the WRR10 into the port on the side of our camera. Now the port that you want is the one that has the little picture of the remote so it's the bottom port. Uh, it will only go in one way so shouldn't be too difficult to get it to go in. There we go. Now that doesn't turn on or it doesn't light up until the camera actually turns on and then you'll see whether it's paired or not by the light on the side. Very important is to make sure that the channel, and you can see the channels here, we've got channel 15 at the top, then 10 in the middle, then 5 on the bottom. Now the channel on the WRR10 needs to be set the same on the WRT10. So just for simplicity, I've put it down to channel 5 on both of them. And I push the but grey button on the front of the WR10 and the grey button on the side of the WRT10 at the same time until we get a green light and then they're paired. Now the remote will fire the camera. Now the beauty of this system is that it will work up to approximately 20 feet and it also works through walls and windows um, so you could potentially fire the camera while you're indoors and the camera is outside which makes it very useful. The other thing that's great about this kit is that this is all you need to have your Z7, your D850, your D500 or your D5 fire an SB5000 flash remotely. So now we're going to look at how to do that. So from your menu of your Z6 or Z7 you want to go into the shooting menu here and then the option that you want to scroll down to is flash control. Um, we've already had it set up but by default wireless flash options it's normally set to off. So you want to press that and then you want to make sure that it's on radio. There we go. And that will allow the WR10 to connect to the SB5000. Now we need to go into the SB5000 and make sure that the options are, are also matched. Um, it's worth also checking that you've got the right mode set up. At the moment we're not looking for repeating flash and we're not looking for different groups. We're just going to set it to group flash which is a, a standard option. It means that you can fire more than one flash remotely and you can change the amount of flash compensation in group flash mode. We don't need that on this occasion. So now we're going to look at the menu of the SB5000 and make sure that it's all matched up. So from your menu of the SB5000, I'm going to push menu there, you need to go to your wireless options, which is the second one down. Make sure that the channel of the flash is the same as the channel on your remote. Uh, so in this case we've got channel 5 set. On link mode, you want to make sure that it's set to pairing, because you don't want it set to pin uh, on this occasion, unless you're working with lots of other photographers, in which case set it to pin. Uh, and then you want to hit pair. Now. At the same time as hitting pair here, you have to also press the grey button on the WRR10. So I'm going to do that now. So at the same time as pressing OK here, I'm going to also press the button on the WRR10 and then it shows pairing complete, which means that the two are now paired together. A couple of things worth checking if you're running into difficulty is to make sure that your switch here is set to remote and also that you're using the Nikon AWL system instead of the flash system. You can actually change from the old creative lighting system by pushing this button to the new radio control system. So that little symbol with the box and the lines coming out of it, that's the symbol that you want. So just make sure that you've got the flash set to that and that it's also set to remote on here. If you're having any other difficulties, also check that the, that the flash is set to the same channel as your remote, um, as otherwise they won't communicate with each other. Mm -hmm.